Hey fellow gamers, it's Cozy Mel here with another Paleo video for you. And if you've been watching this series, you know we're trying to finish the vaults. If you have not and you don't know where we are, we are right here. Here is the Dayu Farm. Here's Kilima Village. Here's Phoenix Falls where you were born. And right here is the cliff above the farm. See my little blue arrow? We are going in to that cliff cave. And this is the vault. So once you have finished any temple, you will automatically have a vault. And it's full of bundles. And you can fill the bundles, but you don't have to. This is not required content, but it is content that gives you prizes. Uh, for example, this is the vault of the gales. And at the end of this, if you do the whole thing, you're supposed to get a nice... Um, nest type statue that's as big as your person that goes in your yard at your house and one of the um, silver wings will nest on it once a day and lay an egg for you. So, you know, <laughs> to me, that's kind of worth it. That's a pretty good price. Okay, so we have already done three out of the four bundles in the Vault of Gales. And I left this one for last because it's the hardest <clears throat> for me. But my daughter says to think positive and that it'll be easier. <laughs> so I'm positive I'm going to get these bugs. And we need a jewel wing dragonfly, a gossamer veil moth, a golden glory bee, and a rainbow tipped butterfly. So let's go see what we can do about finding the places you need to go and what time you need to go there in order to catch these bugs for your bundle. Okay, here we are at the crossroads and there should be a crossroads demon here and you can talk to him and sell your soul for these butter. Oh no, wait, that's a totally different game. Okay, we're at the crossroads <laughs> in the field near Kilima Village and the reflection fields are near to us and the Remembrance Garden is kind of south of our location. And there are some ruins here in the field that are part of the human ruins where walls have fallen down 10,000 years ago. And it is nighttime. And we are looking for a gossamer veil moth and it is in Kilima in the fields. And it is 6 p.m. at night to 3 a.m. in the morning. And it is a moth that will be alerted when it sees you. So we're kind of going to look around in this area of the fields. And I'm going to try something I have not personally tried before. But my um, people in my group have told me that they have had good luck with this. So, you know, maybe we will see if it's possible that uh, we might be able to have some luck with it, I'm not sure. And this is called a smoke candle. So I'm gonna do the smoke candle and it surrounds me with smoke so that hopefully I don't alert these bugs. And then I'm going to get out my bug belt and I have three choices. I have regular, I have sticky, if you need to try to stop them for a second, which I usually do. And I have sneaky smoke bombs. I guess I will start with sneaky and see how that goes. I'm just gonna use it on a regular kill them a night moth there. Make sure that they're working. Okay, so then I'm going to also use a buzzy jar. So I'm going to push number two on my bar, right click it. Um, activated if you're on your switch and then you will see a rare butterfly at the top of your bar just a few meters away so right up here there is already a rare and this was a gossamer veil moth I'll be darn we got one we got one. That is so exciting. 
Wow. Okay. Thank you, Buzzy Jar. So let's look in our in our inventory, and right here it is, Goth Gossamer Bale Moth. So there you go. That's <laughs> my daughter said, think positive, mom. So here we go. I'm thinking positive. I'm positive. I'm going to get these bugs. And we got one. Okay. Now we kind of need to be over in Palea at like three o'clock in the morning. So it's time to go. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, here we are in Bahari Central. As you know, if you know me, I always travel here to this travel board, okay? So once you have traveled here to Bahari Central, then um, you can actually go to Pulse Water from this board. And if you need to see it on a map, it's right here by the ancient aqueduct in Proudhorn Pass. And we are going to go to Pulse Water because um, that is a spot that Byron says might be good. So we're going to check that spot out. So I'm clicking on Pulse Water Plains and I'm traveling by travel board. You can easily just go ahead and pull up your map and walk here if you would like to. And I think if we go down this way, there is a little bit of a canyon, I guess I would call it. It kind of has a couple of sides that are steep. It's kind of a canyon area, and they kind of say, you know, um, be here at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, we are here, and it is 3 a.m., and the only alert I have up above on my buzzy jar is saying that I have to go this way. However, that means climbing the cliff, and I was not told anything about climbing the cliff, but we'll see. I was told that sometimes you will be uh, given an alert for above the Pavel Mines, and then it won't be. It'll be like where you can't actually physically get to. Okay, so this was a fairy mantis. One was nice enough to jump up and down and call me over to take a hit on some pallium. So thank you, Gengar 4R5. <laughs> I don't think she realized that she and Juniper May Lockhart were going to be filmed today. <laughs> but sure enough, Well, we searched all over Pulse Water and did not find the rainbow-tipped butterfly. However, you you know, that just don't be discouraged. You're not going to maybe find it the first day that you try, the first time that you try, but just wait, you know, 45 minutes or so, and it'll be time to try again at 3 a.m. again. And hopefully one of the times that you try, it will work. So on the map again, that was Pulse Water. So right here on the map is where we were at Pulse Water, um, all the way to the lighthouse and all the way down to Hideaway Bluffs and back up. But mostly right here in this open field between the high cliffs in the Pulse Water Plains area is where you can get the rainbow tipped butterfly. So keep trying. Hopefully you'll get lucky. Now I am up above the, the um, Pavel Mines at the very top entrance. So you just keep climbing. There's a lower entrance down below where um, Hodari stands at sometimes in the afternoon every day at certain times. So um, if you keep climbing up and up and up, you will get up about four or five levels and there's an upper entrance to the mine and it's the highest entrance to the mine you can go to and this is where uh by Ron said that he heard you might be able to find the jewel wing dragonfly and it is any time of the night or day but this is also epic just like the rainbow tipped butterfly was epic these two butterflies are not going to be easy. You will try five or six times probably before you will get one. But hope you will get one if you keep trying. So it's just best to have a positive attitude and keep on looking and keep on trying. 
I would say early in the morning um, when there's less people out. So that's the difference. But here we are, Pavel Mines. We are north of Hodari and Najuma's house. And we are just kind of running back and forth in front of the very highest doorway into Pavel Mines. I can show you this is the doorway right here. And once you go in here, there's nowhere you can go. It is completely locked off. There's nothing in here. You have to jump down. Now you might find some ore in here. You might find paleum sometimes. You might find rocks. You might find iron um, that you can mine. But if you want to go down into the mine and go fishing, you're going to have to jump three times. Just jump off the ledge of this three times to get down into the lower part of the mine. So this is just like a little hidden upper part of the mine, uh, kind of a high up entrance. If you, I, am, I don't know a good way to explain it, but if you look down over the valley, you can see the lighthouse from here, if that helps you. I already showed it to you on the map. That is where you can go across the bridge and read the little plaque that the little human I don't know, warning, I guess you would call it, from the monks is left over the, across that bridge. And if you need to see that on the map, that's this bridge right here. And this is the Pavel Mines. So that's the best I can tell you. It is um, not easy to find your way around this particular area of Southern Bahari Bay. For me, I am much more at home in Northern Bahari Bay. So that's why I'm kind of struggling to give you an idea of where to be. But this is a place where you possibly will get this jewel wing. So anyway, this is a good place to try. And uh, Byron in his research said a lot of people had success here. Again, I would try early in the morning because I feel like uh, there's less people playing at that point in time and you don't have 25 people running through here and startling all your bugs. All right, well, we're gonna go back to Kilima and try to find the fourth butterfly or bug, uh, flying bug on the list, the Golden Glory Bee. But before we leave, I just wanted to reiterate that according to the research that Byron did, this is the only spot that the jewel wing dragonfly spawns. Okay, we are over in Kilima. So I will show you on the map as always. Here's your house where you live. Here's the Phoenix Falls where you were born. And here is Kilima Village right here. And we are running around up in here. And this is where we're gonna chop trees in the daytime, 3 a.m. to 6 p.m. You chop down trees and each tree has a 10% chance of having a golden glory bee on it. And it will be fast and it will zip away really fast. And since I have trouble with my hand jerking, I might not be able to hit it with a smoke bomb fast enough. So, but anyway, that's this is a good spot to at least try. So we can cut down a couple of trees and see if we get uh, lucky and maybe get one to show up. I have seen some people go around and just, um, oh, <laughs> you have to switch to your, you have to switch to your bomb really fast and then you've got to throw really fast and really accurately, which is not my cup of tea at all. Oh, it's going to get away. I am so sorry, everybody. I am so sorry. I tried. Uh, well, darn it. Um, <laughs> I don't have good control of my hands, but did you see it? <laughs> I don't know if you could see it or not, but that was it. And then um, also you kind of want to watch your clock because it is 3 a.m. to 6 p.m. And right now it's already almost four in the afternoon. And after six, then you won't have any luck getting one. So there's no use to continue. You might as well move on and go try to get the evening one. You know, the gossamer, um, 
winged moth or whatever it was that we got earlier, the one that we actually were able to catch on film. I don't think I'm going to get lucky enough today to get another Golden Glory Bee <laughs> to spawn for me. But we were really lucky to get that first one to spawn. So at least hopefully you guys got to see what you're after and see what it looked like. And hopefully when you cut down a tree and you spawn one, you're going to be really fast at switching from your axe to your bug bomb. And you are going to take that sucker down in my honor. <laughs> So anyway, that is it for this. We went to the um, Gossamer Vale Moth, 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. at night in the Killama Fields. We went to the south part of Killama over by, uh, you know, the Remembrance Garden area, like I showed you. And we got that one. And then... 3 a.m. in the morning until 6 p.m., so anytime during the day, but really they only spawn one, maybe two in a day, most people say. So trying to get the one right at 3 a.m. is your best bet. And that was the rainbow-tipped butterfly in southern Bahari Bay Fields near Pulse Water. And they do alert if you want to try to use a smoke candle to cover your scent and if you want to use a buzzy jar to try to get the buzzy jar to lead you to one. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, try to be there right at 3 a.m. We weren't lucky enough to see one of those today, but you guys will be. You'll get one. I know you will. The jewel winged dragonfly any time of the day or night, and that is the cliff above Pavel Mine, the very, very, very highest entrance to Pavel Mine in southern Bahari Bay. I showed you on the map run back and forth in front of that doorway, that mine entrance, but I would make sure and use a smoke candle if you're going to do that so that you don't alert this bug until you're on top of it and ready to take it down. And that's any time of the day or night. And then we came back here to Kilima because 3 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. at night, so morning and daytime, you can get the Golden Glory Bee you have a 10% chance of it spawning whenever you cut down a tree over here, a sapwood tree over here in Kilima. And I was doing it here in the Mirror Fields area close to our house. And um, I did get one, but I wasn't fast enough to take him down. And you guys are going to get him and take him down for me and report in the comments below. I want to hear from everybody. Did you get all four of your butterflies? I sure hope so and your golden glory be. Let me know how it worked out. And I hope some of these tips will help you and you will get your bugs and fill out this final, final bundle. That's it, folks. That's all of them. All, all of the bundles in all three vaults, vault of the waves, vault of the flames, vault of the gales. We have now covered it all on video. I don't know that Anybody else has done a series this long on the vaults and the bundles? Hopefully you are going to finish them all up and get your prize. Let me know if you get that silver wing statue nest thing to put in your yard and a silver wing comes and lays an egg for you. Holy moly, I want to know about it. I want to see a picture. So let me know in the comments if you actually get it. I, I would love to know about it. And let me know if you have any luck with these bugs and I hope you'll like and subscribe and ring that bell and I will see you in the next one.